Hi, it's Denise from Wonderland Boutique and welcome to my channel. Today I am actually going to a crafter and vendor fair here in Lamont, which is just a neighboring town next to us. Um, I've never been to this show before. It is springtime, so I'm not too sure what to expect. However, I will say I'm pretty sure I'm a rain goddess. Um, just saying because if there's a craft show or if I'm in a craft show, uh, it's gonna rain. I don't know what it is with me and rain and craft shows, whether it's the day of the show or setup. So, hey, if your town needs rain, have a craft show and invite me because I'll make it rain for you. Literally. Anyways, so craft and vendor fairs are not just crafters, but it's also vendors, which could be two different types um, of vendors. So, a vendor can be someone who does buy sell which is where they buy it already made from either overseas or somewhere you know here on the mainland or it could be a multi-level marketing meaning like direct sales so it could be like paparazzi sensi origami owl um any brand like that now personally as a hundred percent crafter generally i prefer to participate in uh only craft shows that's just my preference because it's really hard if you have um, a vendor who is buy sell and they're buying something from overseas uh, that's made for next to nothing and then trying to resell it you know it's hard to keep up with that as a handmade crafter so that's just my personal preference no shade to vendors or you know uh, direct sales because hey I've done both so totally fine by me but I'm hoping that I'll find some good items here today. A friend of mine who is a direct sales consultant will be here and I have an order to drop off to her anyways. But I'm gonna take you inside, show the setup, see what it looks like. Uh, first, coffee. I need coffee before we go on this journey. So hopefully you like checking out this show with me and I'll see you here real soon. Starbucks in Lamont is always packed. Um, we're seven cars deep. Come on. I just need some caffeine so I don't kill somebody. Okay, I made it. So I did not expect there to be that many people here, to be honest. Like, I don't know if this is a quarterly show, but this parking lot is packed. Um, I presume it's everybody, like the vendors as well. There's supposed to be a total of, uh, what is it? 40 crafters and vendors here. So that's 40 cars for that, plus people who are here. So I'm totally surprised by how many people are here. The parking lot is packed. I'm literally parked at the very last spot at the end of the parking lot. So I hope this is good. Let's go check it out.
I am home now from the craft show. It was a lot of fun and the rain finally stopped on the way home. So that was finally nice. Uh, I figured I could show you some of my hauls. Uh, I may have spent too much money, but that's nothing new for me at a craft show. I kind of have a problem. So uh, yeah, but there was a mix of vendors just like I thought there would be. So there were true crafters, there were direct sales, meaning, you know, multi-level marketing, and then there were buy sell as well. Um, so I actually bought from both because my crack dealer, it's like I'm walking on sunshine. I mean, paparazzi dealer. It's an addiction to me. Melissa was there and I had to get a few things because I forgot a pair of earrings and then I needed some jewelry and she always has the best selection. So I did buy from her because she has the most stock I've ever seen and I always find something I want. So just to give you an idea of some things I bought. So this one lady had a booth of like a lot of cards and bookmarks and here are some of the bookmarks that I bought big and small. I thought these would be really good gifts for my friends, kids, and um, for even books I'm reading myself because I still do like paperback books. She also has these greeting cards that she designs and then makes them as prints. So you can always, at least with me, I'm always in need of a card for something. Um, well, I'm trying to, like, I grabbed her card. It's Jen's Arts, Gifts, and Books. It's Kind of blurry but um if you're interested it's jenfisherbooks.com so her stuff was super well priced like each card was only a dollar and the bookmarks the big ones were two dollars and the little ones were a dollar but they're great gifts for the kids especially my nieces and nephews and then i got this cute little magnet that says you had me at woof that she you know drew on and painted and it was only a dollar it's super cute it's totally going on the fridge so that was a crafter now talking about paparazzi yeah, I like I said, I have a problem. So the paparazzi dealer is 
Melissa Dobbins. So if you're looking for her, she's got great stock. So I have really bad allergies. I'm allergic to metal. So like nickel, um, I break out really bad. I can't wear costume jewelry unless it's nickel and lead free. And most of my jewelry is all sterling silver or white gold. Well, paparazzi is only $5, $5 for costume jewelry. So it's like an easy thing for me to get. So I did buy myself some things. Of course, I bought some earrings that I thought were super cute. Let me show you those, those, there were five bucks. And then, um, for my nieces and my best friend's kids, I found these really adorable little sets. The kids jewelry is only a dollar per piece. Mm, trying to show how pretty this is. So it's, it's like little ice creams. And I thought with um, Easter coming up and summer, um, I mean, they're good for any holiday or any time at all. But this little set was only $2 because I got a pair of earrings and a bracelet. So I bought a couple sets of this for the kids. And then I bought myself a long necklace, which I'll totally wear for work, if you can see that. And it comes with a pair of earrings. And then I bought myself another set. I always wear black, which you probably can tell. I'm always in black and it comes with earrings as well. So I got my fix of paparazzi. And then I found another crafter. She was a super cute, like young girl. Um, I don't know, maybe late teens, early 20s. Uh, but her name's Callie's Crystal Shop. Here's her card. She is on Etsy. She was super cute and super sweet. She works a lot with crystals. And with crystals, you know, you're supposed to like go to what you gravitate towards. And I automatically gravitated towards this bracelet, which is Black Jasper. And it has this cute little key charm on it. So I'm going to cleanse it, of course, before I wear it. But it really spoke to me and it was only $7. But she had a lot of like raw crystals and she had bracelets and um, other jewelry that was all crystal infused, which I really appreciate. So once I cleanse this, um, I definitely will wear it because I like what Black Jasper represents. And if anybody knows what Black Jasper is supposed to do or represent, make sure to leave a comment below because I love to hear about that. And then my favorite piece that I bought, oh my gosh, let me show you this. So <clears throat> I love coffee every day, all day. And I love tumblers, but I love unique tumblers and cool ones. I saw this, gravitated right towards it, had to get it. Um, her work is amazing. It's called Bella Boo Designs. Look at this cup. Oh. I throw F-bombs like confetti. Okay, so this is totally me. Here's her card. Like I said, Bella Boo Designs. Her name's Lauren Williams. And you can find her on Facebook at Bella Boo Decal Designs. Oh, I don't want it to be blurry. Okay. Her and her husband were super nice, super sweet. Look at this cup. Look at the glitter confetti. And then it's a black glitter on the base. And then her vinyl is, you know, all, all glitter and solid. Like this is me. I'm super girly and love everything, but um, I'll cuss you out any day of the week. So, you know, when people use resin and epoxy, like you always want to feel the cup to make sure it's smooth, which means that she sanded it down, which she did. So I really appreciate uh, that mug. She had a lot of cute ones. I could have spent like hundreds of dollars at her booth, but I already talked to her about doing a custom order for me for a Wonderland mug. So very excited for that. But I had a great time at the craft show. Um, got to talk to a lot of different vendors and crafters. I always like to, you know, interact with those at the shows because being a crafter myself, you know, I like to chit chat, find out about, you know, their method and, you know, what other shows are they doing um, and find out, you know, if they do custom orders and things like that, because while I can make stuff for myself, sometimes I just don't have the time and I'd rather support a fellow crafter and pay them to do it um, instead of try to get it done myself and then, you know, be too perfect with it and hate it, blah, blah, blah. That's just how I am. But either way, I hope you all enjoyed seeing the craft show and the different things that were there uh, to check out. I had a good time. It was exhausting because I did lots of walking around and lots of interviewing. Uh, but it was nice to see Melissa and uh, all the other vendors that were there. I hope you had fun going to the craft show with me today. Please be sure to subscribe and hit that notification icon so you can be alerted every Wednesday when I upload a new video. Definitely leave me a comment below what you thought of the craft show and my haul of items and share this video with others. And if you're not following me on Facebook and Instagram, those links will be in the description box below. 
hit me up, send me pictures of you at a craft show. And I just want to say thank you so much for your time. It's Denise from Wonderland Boutique, and I look forward to seeing you again real soon. Bye-bye.